So like I mentioned previously that I was going to cover a lesson on global warming and the specifics of it. Um, it's important for us to point out exactly what global warming is. And it's important to indicate that global warming is often now being replaced by the phrase climate change. And that what we're looking at is an overall worldwide climate change. Um, and the concern that temperature of the world is increasing. All right, so the causes of global warming are directly related, like we talked about before, ozone layer thinning out, so there's more UV, UV rays coming in. And then we have this thing called the greenhouse effect. And it's basically being escalated, all right? It, it's increasing. So the greenhouse effect. What's the idea of the greenhouse effect? Well, if we look at a greenhouse and what exactly its role is, its role is for the sunlight to be able to get inside and to be able to trap heat for those plants, warmth for those plants. In addition, it's important for the water that those plants contain to evaporate, right? And for water vapor to be trapped inside. So those greenhouses are hot and moist, right? That that water vapor, carbon dioxide, all these different things are being trapped inside, right? All these different gases. And that's basically the same idea as the greenhouse effect in our atmosphere, right? Things called greenhouse gases right water vapor carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide they're getting trapped in our atmosphere and instead of it being a greenhouse what we're really looking is that we have the earth and then we have our atmosphere and everything's being trapped around us and we're kind of like that big plant stuck inside the greenhouse all right but in the past, the greenhouse effect has been recognized for keeping our climate relatively stable. All right? The idea of the greenhouse effect is that as the sun's rays come in, they really just kind of get bounced around. Maybe some escape every once in a while, but for the most point, our everything just bounces around inside our atmosphere, and some of that heat is maintained. So the idea is then as the sun's rays shine on us, right, they're filtered out by the ozone layer depending on the size or the thickness of the ozone layer, and everything else enters our atmosphere. That which enters our atmosphere is absorbed and reflected, and that heat is maintained within that atmosphere. And as that heat energy gets trapped, right, the Earth gets to hold some of that heat so that at night, when the sun is gone, we still have some warmth maintained in our atmosphere and the earth doesn't freeze every night. And then when the sun rises, it warms up a little more and when the sun sets, it cools off, but it doesn't quite change too drastically. All right, we're not talking about a temperature fluctuation of 90 degrees every day and every night. We're talking about small fluctuations depending on the seasons, all right? So, like I said, we're a big giant greenhouse and we're stuck inside. Uh, but as that heat and moisture just keeps getting trapped, all right, global warming starts to occur, all right? All right, if the greenhouse effect is good, then what's really the problem? Um, it's the idea that, like I said, the greenhouse effect is escalating, all right? So, more and more greenhouse gases are building up in our atmosphere and those gases are able to hold on to more heat and as they hold more heat the overall temperature increases so we wind up with too much heat and the overall temperature like i said starts to increase so why is it really a big deal all right It's important for us to recognize that global warming, like I pointed out before, when something in the environment changes, all the organisms and everything that's in that environment are going to be affected. So 
So it's important for us to recognize that if the overall temperature increases, we're going to have polar ice caps melting, sea levels are going to rise. As the sea levels rise, the salinity, right, the saltiness, the salinity of the ocean is going to be altered. If the salinity is altered too drastically, we can have altered weather pattern, patterns um, and altered ocean currents. And at the same time, as those temperatures rise, the oceans, the earth, everything is going to start to rise and warmer oceans are going to mean stronger, more frequent hurricanes, right? In addition, droughts are going to start to occur because there's going to be a lack of available water as the, the temperature rises. So heat waves and droughts are going to become more prominent. Um, crops, food are going to be dried out and destroyed. Um, and you may even start to see less drinkable water. Uh, as temperature also rises, there are going to be disease-carrying insects that are going to be able to survive longer. They'll be able to migrate to different places. And the heat not only will be ideal for them to breed, ecosystems are going to be thrown out of balance. As plants and animals die, those organisms that survive off of them are going to be altered. Those organisms that they used to feed off of are going to be able to thrive. And it's going to throw off a whole entire population shift. All right? So you're going to have a lot of this balance that's being disrupted. Um, ice that reflects the, the Earth's sun, the sun's rays are going to start to melt, which means more of the sun's rays will be absorbed by the melted water. So temperatures will only, will only increase more so, and so on and so on. So the question of whether or not global warming is really a big deal is all dependent on whether or not you like where you live. This is our recap for our quick overview of global warming. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to 